Hey guys, what's up? I'm Double X, and I'm here with another vlog. And I had to do another vlog because... Holy shit. Last night was intense. I am, of course, talking about CW series The Flash. Now, I haven't had a chance to talk about The Flash or any other DC TV show on my channel, but here's the basic of it. I love The Flash. I love the entire series. I think it's great. I really like The Flash as a character, also due to the fact that his alter ego is a forensic scientist who ends up getting struck by lightning. So yeah, pretty sweet. And let me tell you about last night's episode of The Flash, which aired on November 10th. This was entitled Enter Zoom. A fitting title, seeing that we finally get a more face-to-face -face encounter with the dark speedster himself, Zoom. And I don't know that much about Zoom from the comics or the TV show, but I have heard that he is pretty dangerous. He's basically another version of the Reverse Flash. But you know, I have to hand it to the creators. They made the Reverse Flash, the main bad guy from season one of The Flash, they made him look like a simple minion, like a nothing. The way that Zoom carries himself in this episode, the way he portrays his abilities and just how much more faster he is in The Flash, it blew my mind. It really just blew me away. The second season, we've established that there is another alternate Earth within like a parallel universe. Basically, we have Earth 1, which is where Barry and his friends are, and Earth 2, where Zoom lives. And basically, Zoom has been using these breaches within these parallel dimensions and from Earth 1 to Earth 2, and he's been sending out metahumans to try to kill the Flash. Mainly because he wants to be the only speedster within any universe. Towards the end of this episode, Enter Zoom, we, all the heroes thought that their plan to try to trick Zoom into coming into their Earth was a bust. And that kind of made them disappointed. Especially since that, that Harrison Wells from Earth 2, which everybody is very skeptical about trusting, seems to be holding back something. And so there's a lot of tension, a lot of disappointment, and there's a lot of what seems like an anticlimax. Like, okay, Zoom's not coming, apparently. But then he does within the last 15, 20 minutes of the episode, and... Oh... This dude is scary as shit. Okay, so what first happens is that Linda, who was the ex-girlfriend of Barry, the Flash, and was integral in this episode for various reasons, he, she ends up getting kidnapped by Zoom, and she's taken up to the roof of Star Labs where Flash comes in and confronts Zoom. And basically Zoom is just staring him right in the eye, like all scary looking, Basically, he says, You like fishing with bait? So do I. And then he drops her, and Flash, of course, saves her, and then once he, she, he tells her to run, then we have a confrontation with Zoom and Flash, and... Wow. I mean... Wow! How scary is he? How incredibly fast is Zoom? He can catch lightning! What I mean by that is when Flash tried to use his new technique, of running really, really fast in circles up until to generate electricity and throw a bolt of lightning at his opponent. When he did that to Zoom, Zoom dodged the lightning, flipped around, grabbed the lightning, and shot it right back at Barry. And he didn't even miss a beat. He didn't feel wit at all. He didn't feel intimidated or anything. He just saw the lightning, bam, flipped around, threw it back right at him. He threw back a bolt of lightning. That is incredible. That's like... <sighs> punches are being thrown. It's just like Zoom has seriously got the edge. When he throws punches at a really fast pace, they look. They feel like they hit incredibly hard. At one point, he hit Barry in the back. I think he broke his spine. He definitely broke something really vital in that one punch that sent... Barry just crippling and just tumbling onto the ground. Yeah. 
So Barry gets defeated by Zoom, and Zoom doesn't kill him though. He just leaves him bloody and bruised, but he takes it a step further. In the middle of his fight, he takes Barry and zooms all around the city to humiliate him. He first stops at Central City Press, and where Iris is working right there, and he zoom just zooms in, yeah, and just shows the Flash and all of his little being bruised, and how he's like, look what I just beat up. The Flash is no god. He cannot help you now. He just humiliates him in front of the press. So you probably is going to know that there's going to be some news coverage like, Oh my god, Flash has been beaten by another speedster. This is bad. He zooms out from the press. He goes into the police department. And in front of all the cops, he shows that the, the era of Flash saving your city is no more. And when everyone is looking at all the police is like, Okay, shoot this thing now. Bam, 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 bam. And they shoot him, but... <laughs> Every shot that the police take on Zoom, Zoom uses his free hand. He has one hand holding Barry. He takes his free hand and he and he spins it around so fast on all the bullets. He ends up catching every single shot, and he just pours it out of his hand. And the cops are just standing there, flabbergasted, like speechless seeing that none of their shots hit him, and he was able to catch every single bullet. And Zoom just goes, Nice try. That, that alone just let my jaw drop. And not only that, he finally goes back to Star Labs, and he just takes that four and stabs him a little bit more. At that point, Cisco was able to get a shot off with the speed dampening device, which did hurt Zoom a little, but he was still able to get away. By the end of all this, the Flash, Barry, is just in horrible condition. At the end of the episode, we find out that not only was Barry, like, taken out of commission so badly, like, he ends up, I think, like, like a few days, maybe, he was in bed. But when he wakes up, his legs don't work. So to recap, in the first fight between Zoom and the Flash, Zoom beats up Barry humiliates him, and cripples him. Okay, if there's ever going to be a time for me to cosplay a villain, then I have no question about it. It has to be Zoom. Uh, it, okay. it, it took me a while to get this vlog all, and all my thoughts in it the right way because it's quite the head rush, really, this episode of The Flash. Zoom is an impressive villain. No, no, not just an impressive villain. He is the villain. He is scary as hell. And I look forward to seeing him in future episodes. Thanks again for watching. I'm Double X, and I will see you next time.